Hey everyone, my name is Flair Blitz here and welcome to Mitra Apopatus. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Pro forgive me if I pronounce it wrong, but Mitra Apopatus is a story-based game with horror elements about a web of delusions, a life of blissful ignorance and the monstrous depravity that human brains can fall into uh, sorry, can fall to in the name of love and admiration. A gruesome revolting truth behind the grease of a pretty charming little lifestyle. Explore the game through three very different main characters with three very different perspectives. And tell you sorry, and tell your story as you believe it to be. So this is a game that's made by the same person that also made Dear Marika, which I also played, which is a very nice little short game. But this little game looks even better than Dear Marika due to its longer length, I would say. But also, its art's really pretty. This game contains scenes which some players may find disturbing, as well as potential... Okay. All characters and da -da 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 in, the, in the game are fictional. Any resemblance of real persons living or dead or dead is purely coincident. So, uh, note we're going to play the introduction, because we are interested with what the story tells us. But I think this is for players who have already played this game, but want to get into the further chapters of the game with less of the time spent. Mama had the prettiest, prettiest red hair. Where are we? I have never seen hair like hers. I love my mama so much. Aww. And I know my mama loves me. She doesn't. <laughs> Joking. Every night she would tuck me into bed and pat my head ever so softly. Ah. Uh, these lovely little dialogue boxes are very nice. Traditionally, all the dialogue boxes will be at the bottom of the screen. But I remembered in Dear Marika and in this game now that the dialogue boxes are presented in different locations. What is it, Maki-chan? Mika, I mean. Today, Sa-chan won't share her dolls with me. So I got mad and imagined them rolling off the counter and into the drain. And they did just that. Sachin got really scared, said it was it was the work of a demon. Oh. Did I do that, Mama? Is Maki-chan a demon? Don't be silly, Maki-chan. Of course you aren't a demon. It wasn't just with Sachin, Mama. <laughs> I can move things just by concentrating hard on them. Sometimes when I stare at glass statues for long enough, they would change shape. I haven't told anyone yet, Mama. Am I really am a demon? Maki-chan, this kind of thinking is no good, okay? You definitely are a demon. I'm rectifying that now, that you are not a demon, my beloved daughter. Then what am I, Mama? Goddess. Huh? What did you say, Mama? Listen to Mama, okay? Where was that other place just now? I love the introduction. Mika-chan, you are blessed with the magic of the goddess. I knew it was goddess. Do you understand? It is a blessing to be used wisely for good and never for evil. Use your powers to heal and save, not to kill and to destroy. Understand? Good girl, I knew you would understand. Hmm, what did you say? Stop this. I don't want this. You are lying. Mama never said I... Sorry, Mama never said it like that. My, my, what could you possibly mean, Mika-chan? You ought to be ashamed of yourself for being so selfish. You've always been putting your needs over everyone else's. Shame on you. And you do that. Uh, so, and, so, and you do know I'm not lying, Mika-chan. Everything I say is the truth. I proclaim it. In the name of the 
Cardinal. Wah wah. Keep that away from me, my dear. You know what would happen if he tried to hurt me? Yes. Silly, silly Mika-chan. I guess you never understood after all. Understood what? Look at how fickle you are, Mika-chan. I remember this graze you gave me. But I think in return, it probably hurt you more than it hurt me, right? You are such a funny girl. You can destroy buildings, annihilate mountains with just a touch, yet you can never harm another human. Anyway, Mika-chan, don't forget to finish your tea on the table, okay? Remember to make your bed too, and don't forget to clean up that mess you made. Clumsy Mika-chan. So who is this mysterious individual in shadows, anyways? Are they some sort of antagonist within our story? Uh, help me, Mama. Mama is nowhere to be seen. Mama isn't here anymore. This isn't Mama and her lovely red hair. Those memories will never return. Bad memories can be soothed in time. What's this? Hmm? Who are these? This is really well made. I think I knew what that was. It was a beheading. It's happening again, Sester. Isn't it? I didn't expect much from those sorry, from those savages. This farce of a witch hunt has gone on for too long. I may very well be next, if not for my position right now. You know, Chester, I'll always be on your side. Do you think it is time to go ahead with it? A spy of some sort. Did you see that man on the north there? How dare ye. And that man there. Are you really planning on taking that risk then? What about that girl? My father would have done the same thing in my place. As for, um, as for M3, well, I don't see why she won't be fine with it. Anyway, right now, we need to let Donovan and his colleague know about this. Oh hey sir, lady. Got in a bit of a pinch clearing up this alone. Alone? Where's your other friend? Oh, that lazy mickle. He's just going to the loo. Haha. <laughs> that bum. That was what he said an hour ago. Remind me to kick in his... So, remind me to kick his ass when he's come home. Or when he comes back. Haha. <laughs> I'm very bad with pronunciations there, probably shouldn't have done this, <laughs> sorry. Fine, since your Mikkel's friend is, sorry, since your Mikkel friend isn't back, we... God, yes, I'm finally out, what is going on here? Mikkel Vince, what took you so long? Where's your cloak? The execution is over, why didn't you even call me? Gerard, Gerald. Someone locked me up this morning. I couldn't get out at all. Wait, so if you're the real Mikkel, then... Who was... Who was the other Mikkel who oversaw the execution? Someone in disguise. Damn that devil's rat. He's one-upped us again. Who's the, de who's the deviled rat, then? 
There's not much of a story. Oh, prologue. Nobody can change destiny, my child. Not even you. Papa's destiny is to go to heaven and stay with Mama forever. And that's what Papa will do right now. Okay. Is this within the eyes of a father? Yay. Hey. Lovely. Grayscale. Grayscale art done. I think most RPG Maker games have the same sort of set of controls. Hmm? I can't continue like this. You wipe your tears and cover your mouth with your hat, trying to calm yourself down. I need to get out of here. Ah, we are finally in motion. Congratulations! You have found a journal. At any journal, you'll be able to save your game. Each book can be used as many times as you want. Good. I remember playing a game called Pitch Black, and that RPG Maker horror game, the first ever demo that, take, that took place, you had to acquire coins in order to save the game itself, which was a very nice mechanic, but it did limit the player's ability to be able to save the game whenever they wanted. Something smells. Put pillow under blankets. You put the pillows on the bed and hid it neatly with blankets. There is a pillow in the blankets. Okay, so it looks like there's somebody at, somebody's actually there. Oh! Oh, we could go diagonally. That's good. You deserve nothing, hey. Maker. Cold tea? Cold tea. So, is that gate locked? Hmm? There is a crack in the ground. The fort below shouldn't have as many guards as this one. Perhaps I should escape from there instead. Escape from the cracking ground? Yes. The hole is definitely too small for me. I can probably break it over. But I may hit someone. Not that I have any luck if there is someone downstairs anyway. Anyway, regardless, it would be much better if I had something to chisel this crack open with. Ah, what is it that you require? A few shards of broken glass. This was when I tried to toss a cup glass at... He's probably mad at me. Oh, goddess, he's probably mad at me. Well, there is... Okay, I, th I thought we was hovering below the glass. Okay. Ah, so I need something to force it open with. But what can we find in here? Moldy clothes, cold tea, cold tea, that, the door is locked, a door is not human, I should be able to destroy it without any problems, yes, yay, oh I could do the same thing with the ground, and the entire building, and the world for that matter. You never know. Um, can someone tell me about the huge amount of blood that disperses from all here? What the? Was that a shadow just now? I swear there was a shadow just now. But the power of the goddess shall never be used to harm another. Less divine, pun yeah, less divine punishment fall on the traitor. Book of Treachery, Chapter Two Point Six. Okay, but that is sealed. A dull, unsharpened dagger that's been le left here. Yes, let's take it. We can use it for something. 
for self protection that is. You see a strange looking file labelled staff notes, strictly confidential. Let's look inside it. Which section do you want to check? We'll check all four of these. So Alchemist Taylor Farlands. Reminder, buy quill eggs for kids' birthday party this weekend. Why call loves them? Look inside. Priest Agnes. Meet Stephen outside gates at 855. I wonder if one of these notes will contain something very important. Like a puzzle. Hint. Holy Scripture chapter and thus that herald the Messiah's arrival. What do all these mean? Make preparations for Lord Rothwell's arrival tomorrow night. Okay. We both just provide a little bit of backstory of something. Meet Stephen outside gate A55. Maybe that's the most important one. The fact that we need to make bloodstains. Yes. I love the notes which are in the middle of the screen. Uh, no. Shadow. I think that's game over. Oh. I killed him? So never harm another human. Last divine punishment falls upon the traitor. Murderer. It, it hurts. Um. I don't think that fares too well for us. The Matthias are praise the wise. Press space to return to main menu. Okay. Good for us, it seems. So, let us not explore anywhere. Yeah, I thought it was a shadow. So, let's not go past that point. We need to pick up this. Hang on. For the game's memory, we shall check all these. And then... We're going to remember 8.55. Good. We're going to pick up this doll dagger. And then we shall go back up here. So... It is not wise to use any sort of violence within this game. Otherwise, we shall be definitely annihilated from the face of existence. Chisel open crack with dull dagger. Yep. All right, let's do this. You chisel open the crack in the ground, but not without breaking the dagger blade in the process. You toss away the broken blade and kept the hilt. The hole is now big enough for you to jump into. Good for us. Good for us. Let us go into this hole. It is hidden neatly by the table and the door, so anyone merely looking at it should be able to see. Jump in the hole. Then we entered in. Close the door, but. Close the door behind you. Oh my god, did we forget? Yeah, we forgot to close the door, didn't we? Oh my god. This game is actually pretty filled with scares. Oh my god, no. We need to use a chair for something. But for what exactly? Okay, so there's a crack. There's a hole in the ceiling where you fell from. Ah, uh, we can go back up. We can go back up by using this chair. Yes, go back up. Close the door. G 
go back down. And then... Okay, so that chair is firmly put in place. I was thinking that may have some had some sort of curse upon us if we did not close the door. Perhaps this place also used to be a prison cell. The lamps are shining brightly. They are warm. Um. Okay. I don't think it should be possible to move diagonally while showing within the bed. It just looks kind of... It looks kind of unreal. Because you can't be able to move down, which is very good. But you can ab you are able to move diagonally. Which somehow, from my sort of perspective, I find that a little bit unnatural to do. So you can move diagonally, yes, in real life. But when you get to a bed, maybe you can only be able to move horizontally. I don't know. I'm pondering this when I should be able to visit the game. Instead of pondering why this bed is like it. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Some kind of duty rooster. Read it. Duty rooster. Morning shift. Mr. Farling. After shift. The afternoon shift. Sister Forest. Night shift. Mr. Lancaster. Or whichever one it was. A couple of notes. Read. First page. I need to stop forgetting the password to the key box. Ariel was going to scold me again. Why am I so forgetful? Well, it's not fair having the midnight shift all the time. Maybe that's what's making my mind slow. Okay. No, so we need this chair for something. But for what purpose exactly? This is what appears to be a safe on top of the shelf. Try to reach it. Uh, you failed to reach the save. We need the chair to be able to get to the save. Good idea to have these love boys. No, it's a stool, not a chair. There we go. This is what appears to be a safe on top of the shelves. Try to reach it. A combination lock is on the safe. It says to input two digits. Okay, so... What of this exactly? The door is firmly shut. Examine the door. This is a normal door. A bit rusty at metallic areas, but there is a keyhole. Look through keyhole. You see an empty room. I think breaking down the door is going to be a very bad idea. So it, it could indicate a sense that I may be killing somebody by accident on the other side. But as we saved it there and there, we've got nothing to lose. So let's just go there and break down the door rather than necessarily... What am I crazy? There's no way I could break down this door without alerting the people downstairs. It's not as if I'm good enough with metal to do a clean and soundless job of it. Look. Are you crazy? Oh, for goodness sakes. Really now? Okay, so it seems like we're not going to be doing that. 08.55 it It's a two digit pin though Okay So Is the clues here Sorry to do with the midnight shift Or the red that I need to stop forgetting the password to the key box. Ariel was going to scold me again. Why am I so forgetful? Well, it's not fair having a midnight shift all the time. Maybe that's what's making my mind slow. Hmm. 
Thanks to those dogs are annoying sometimes. Okay. What other clues are there? I think we'll leave it off for the next episode, folks. This is a very good game so far with a lot of story involved and some pretty graphics as well. So take care of yourselves, folks, and see you all in the next time of Mecha Apoptus. Apoptosis? I think that's what it's pronounced. I don't know. But have a lovely day, everyone, and take care of yourselves.